When we talk about uh, integer linear programming problems, I have to talk about uh, linear programming relaxation. So when you have an integer linear programming model, like this, the example that we considered for graphical method or uh, for solving in Excel, right? We define LP relaxation, linear programming relaxation of this model as the same model except that, sorry, that we drop integer constraint from the model. So basically we make the integer model into linear programming model, right? This is again the type of model we considered before, right? And uh, as you can see, of course, uh, when I solve the integer problem, I have an integer solution with some value. When I solve linear programming relaxation, I have uh, I might have a fractional solution. Sometimes we get lucky and we get integer solution, but most often we will get fractional solution when we do not assume xi uh, has to be integer. And in this case, notice one more thing is that, see, dropping integer constraint is a relaxation, right? That's why we call this LP relaxation. Uh, and as before, with any other relaxation, remember when we talked about relaxations in, in the previous chapters, uh, we said when you remove a constraint, that's a type of relaxation, your solution might, might stay the same or improve. And the same thing applies to integer constraint. When you drop integer constraint, the solution might improve. And that's what actually happened here, right? We found a solution with a b higher profit. And now, um, Again, if you consider restriction going back from LP relaxation to the not relaxed problem with integer constraint reintroduced, right? Adding integer constraint is a restriction. So if you add a constraint, like any other constraint, if you add integer constraint, your solution might become worse. From this, we can actually draw one more, uh, one useful thing, right? If I solve LP relaxation without integer constraint, the model, then I know that my uh, integer solution uh, will have a profit of at most 11.019, right? If I solve here uh, a linear problem and I got this profit, when I add integer constraint, I might get the same profit or worse, I will never get better profit. And because of this, we say LP relaxation gives me upper bound on the optimal objective function value in the integer problem um, when we have maximization objective. So basically in the case of maximization, LP relaxation gives you upper bound and if we have minimization, LP relaxation gives you lower bound because it gives you basically the best possible value in uh, that you might get in the integer linear programming uh, problem. Um, now, so in, in this example, right, because we have maximization, LP relaxation gave us this value, 11.0.19. From this we know w if we solve integer linear programming model, which we already did, but uh, if, if we did this before solving it, we would know the profit will be at most 11.0.19 because 11.0.19 is an upper bound on the profit value. Why is this important? This is important because you see uh, integer linear programming models, and as I will show you later on, are much harder to solve than their linear programming relaxation. Linear programming relaxation takes a fraction of time of the integer linear programming model. And because of this, you know, sometimes we, we, it needs a lot of time to find this solution, but the linear programming relaxation gives me a quick estimate of how good the profit might be or how good the cost, if it was minimization of some kind of cost, might be. Right? So it is useful to tell you how, how good a solution I might expect to find. And uh, one more note is, right, when we relax a problem with integer constraint, we just drop it. But when we have binary, right, remember binary means integer and between 0 and 1. So linear relaxation, linear programming relaxation, is dropping integer constraint. So basically binary is replaced by xi between 0 and 1, and the integer here is dropped, right?